Hey guys, remember in the last video when I told you that most trading ideas are crap? I will let you in on a little secret. Ours are too. Shh. And now you're thinking, what are you talking about? Aren't you the most successful algo developer for pro real time that's out there? Well, yes. But that doesn't mean that all of our ideas are good or will ever constitute a profitable trading system. Our success aren't coming from having amazing ideas. But, well, maybe some of the successes, but most of our success comes from the fact that we come up with a lot of ideas and that we test all of them. Okay, so we are on the first step of our proved algo development process, which is ideas. There will be a couple of videos for every step. And uh, just as a reminder, here they are, the four steps. So there will be a lot of videos coming up over the coming months. So in this video, I'll talk in general about trading ideas, how you should approach it, and I will give you some interesting sources that I use. We'll end up with me sharing three ideas that I see some good potential in, but that I haven't had the time to test yet. All right, so trading ideas, trading ideas are the raw material and the start of all algo development. I would like you to visualize the algo development process as a big funnel. The more ideas you pour into this funnel, the more trading systems will pour out. Sadly, only a small portion of what you pour in will ever come out. So let's talk about where you get this raw material from. Let's talk about your sources of trading ideas. They can differ a lot from person to person, for me, I live for trading. Most of my close friends are traders. I consume hours of videos, newsletters, books on the topic of trading every week. I mean, I look at charts more than anything and all this stuff gives me a lot of trading ideas and it's reinforced by the fact that I'm actively looking for new ideas. And that's the first point you should take away from this video if you don't already have that mindset and it is to actively start looking for it. And I say, start where you stand. Look for ideas in the charts that you monitor, in the books that you read, or the newsletter that you receive. Maybe you already have some manual trading technique or a book on the subject. Have you observed something in your charts? Or have you learned about a new technical indicator? The idea doesn't have to start from a specific place. You can start anywhere. You could start from an idea of a trailing stop code that you made up in your head, or Maybe an idea of a specific entry that you heard from a friend or maybe just an exit that you found online. You just start and then you build out of that. My recommendation for you is to write down everything as soon as you come up with it and then you take it with you to your pro time software. You will soon find that you have more ideas than you have time to test. If you go to prorealalgos.com forward slash learning and sign into the learning website, there is a Google Sheets document there for you, which is a great template for you to use to keep track of your ideas. It also includes a randomizer for you to use when you're about to choose which idea to test next. And why a randomizer? Well, it's easy to go test what you think is best, but you have to be careful about your biases. In our experience, what we think will work is rarely better than a randomly chosen idea. So that's why we implemented a randomizer into that document. So on that topic, what works best? Well, I can almost never tell. It's almost like the ideas that I think will work don't and the ideas that I just stumble upon having low expectations for, they work. I mean, a few of our algos that we offer are just partly coding mistakes. So never rule out your ideas before testing it. Think of all your ideas as good until they are tested. <coughs> I feel like I'm uh, repeating myself. I'm just, how many times have I even mentioned the word ideas in the last five minutes? If anyone would make a, a drinking game out of that, you would be so drunk right now. You know what? If anyone can guess how many times I said the word ideas in this video, ideas, 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 and have a guess of the number of times I will say in the rest of the video, I will, I will get you something. The first person to get the right answer gets, gets an algo for 12 months. Let me know 
your guess in the comments. All right, do you feel that this is all still pretty vague? Let me give you a few examples of where you can start looking. The most obvious place for anyone starting developing algos in real time is a website that you probably already have visited, and that is ProRealCode.com. ProRealCode is the biggest pro real time community on the web with over 46,000 members and close to 18,000 forum topics. In addition to that, there are over 200 different strategies published and over 800 indicators, some of which have been published by us. And it's all written in code, compatible with ProRealTime, and it's completely free. So that's where you should start. But don't bother testing the strategies. We have already tested them, and they are all curve-fitted, and running them will only lose you money. I think that really shows the general mistake that most people do, th that most developers do, and that is that they want to get that beautiful backtest, and they over-optimize their code. And it's always at a cost, and the cost is high. The cost is that it will not perform live, and it will lose you money. Also, some of the strategies are just old, and edges and the success of a system always change over time, but it's still a great place to start. Okay, so what about books on the subject of trading ideas? Well, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that there is no strategy that you will ever find in a book that will ever work. Does that mean that you shouldn't buy books on the subject of trading systems? Well, no, because the point here is that you're looking for inspiration for your own ideas. You're not looking for complete, already thought up trading systems. You're looking for stuff that you can use in your own strategies. I mean, it, it could be like, uh, hey, I wanna, I wanna use the trailing stop that I found in this book, uh, change it a little, and uh, then I will combine it with uh, an entry that I found in, in this book. I mean, uh, it's nothing wrong with borrowing code like that. It's ultimately the difference that makes the difference. You are looking for inspiration for you to create your own training system, and any book that can help you with that is a good purchase. So what's in my bookshelf? Well, a lot, and I have some recommendations. They are all in the description of the video. There are also a lot of websites on trading ideas, uh, and they can all give you inspiration. I would never recommend that you pay for it. There are plenty of free alternatives. The one that I would recommend you start with is quantifiedstrategies.com. Here you can get access to over 70 strategies for free, and that alone should give you something to start with. The code that's included in the strategies on the website is for TradeStation, so it's not applicable in pro real time, unfortunately, but it's a pretty easy job to translate it. And remember, relying on already existing strategies will not make you a successful algo developer, but you will find inspiration there for your own systems. And at last, a good place for trading ideas is our own open Discord channel. It's free for everyone to join. There's always discussions there on the topic of algo trading and development. People are sharing both customizations of our algos as well as their own works, and it's a great place to get your inspiration. If you want to join the channel, scan this QR code here with your mobile camera, or click the link in the description. Okay, so now I'm going to share with you three ideas, and none of these ideas have been tested yet. The first one is a very, very simple idea of a daily strategy, and we're going to test it on DAX 40 index and maybe, maybe some other market as well. We're going to make it long only. So the general idea is to enter trades on a specific time if the trend is positive and strong. The trend being positive will be determined by the price being over a moving average, and the trend being strong will be determined by the trend strength indicator called ADX. We're going to close the trade the same day at 9 p.m. And without backtesting, I will know if you do, do you think that this is an idea that could work? Is this a good idea or is it too simple? Let me know in the comments below. No matter what we think of an idea, we will never rule it out before testing it, but it could be funny to see what you think, and it might actually prove a point. So it's an easy idea, and that's the plan, as it will make it easy for everyone to follow. We'll code and test it together in a coming video, but you could start it now already if you already have the basic coding knowledge. Okay, so the two other ideas that I want to share with you are more complex, but have bigger potential. They are the top two 
most interesting ideas that we have right now, but sorry, it's not for everyone. Those two ideas will exclusively be available for our premium users. And what's a premium user? Well, a premium user gets a lifetime access to all the Pro Real Argos learning material with extra content, with extra educational videos, with more material and more tools, extra resources and extra strategies and indicators, with personal support and everything you need to become the best algo developer that you possibly can be. Go to prorealalgos.com forward slash learning to learn more about the premium package. So that's the introduction on ideas. So this is only the first step and I get that it's all pretty vague still, but it's still an important step. We will get more practical and start coding already in the next video, so stay tuned for that. But what you can do now already is to look around. Start searching for ideas and add them to your Google Sheets. After the coming video, you can start testing those ideas out. So thanks for watching. We'll talk again soon. Bye.